Thank you. Um, hello, uh, my name is Jason Long. I'm a stand-up comedian. Uh, although uh, quite often at the moment I'm talking a lot about politics, and so I'm sort of blurring at the moment between being like a comedian and being a woman who is ranting to people who have not asked for it, uh, which is fun, right? It's good to challenge people. If by challenge you mean bore and spiteful, um, that's not true. Um, I am incredibly pleased to be uh, joining in with uh, joining in with collaborating with Ellie Harrison, uh, and so I'm going to talk a little bit about how I came to find her work. And so it's a sort of more of a talk, but I'm trying to fit like jokes in it that I've already got. So <laughs> otherwise, I don't think you guys are thinking, oh, what a waste of my time. But then I think, 15 minutes in it. That's what we're going to do about life. So very long. I need just to go through, otherwise, <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm just going to come out. Um, now, what, what this exhibit is, is it highlights what has been nationalised and then privatised in this country. You've got the different elements. This one is the best one. This one is healthcare, and when this baby goes on, it doesn't turn up. <laughs> this, does this turn up, folks? No. Still, but it's sort of vague, sort of half shoot. And then this way, I need the thing, but I'll bloody put it down. This one, I could just lie about what they were represent. This one represents mushrooms. <laughs> so it's weird, but it just works. No, this one represents. Thank you. They should be, I hate them. Um, thank you, solidarity. Um, this one's telecoms, this one's electricity, this one's gas, and this one's railways. And then when I first saw this exhibition, um, I saw a video of it online. And it blew my mind as to how little I knew about 20th century politics. Just like some, well, we're, this will be stunning as it goes, because what it does is it uh, charts every year in the 20th century, and um, the colour of it determines who was in government at that time. Red is for the goodies, and blue, I don't know. They're not the goodies. Um, <laughs> there's no goodies. Hooray! <laughs> Uh, but there were goodies, but only for a brief period between 1946 and 1951. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> and, and in line with that, these massage chairs come on to highlight when uh, the... Somebody's on Facebook. Uh, when these things, telecoms, post, health, railways, gas, electricity, were taken from the private sector into the public sector, and then they stopped massaging when they uh, were privatised again. And it's really made me think a lot about how I interpret the tech of the world. Because I think if you're about my age or a bit younger, we're quite entrenched in quite a, quite a right-wing uh, view of the world without even meaning to be. Like, when I think about the fact that this one is, is it the one I'm talking about? That's health. This guy, this guy, electricity, right? When I think about my electricity bills, all I think is like, well, I'm going to be ripped off tonight, that's what they do, they rip people off. And that idea that electricity could have been a thing that the state run, so people who profit from it, who just got what they needed, blows my mind, right? And yet, with healthcare, I'm like, well, that's the right, obviously. Obviously, I'm paying healthcare, I deserve to be alive tonight, and it's cool. And it also makes me think wider about society as a whole, because, like, um, schooling, now, with uh, changes in funding to schools, like trying to make more free schools, trying to make uh, more academies, it's dodgy ground. It's not really state funded anymore. Like, I was thinking about this thing that I am not well informed enough to bring up, but I will try, about there's a primary school that paid millions of pounds to Carter Rack, the PR firm, because the people that funded that school, some, I don't even understand it, uh, but what I'm trying to say to you guys is that everything's fucked. So sit on the health chair. No, that's not what I'm trying to say. At all. I'm just feeling time before it starts. But it's going to start in one minute, ladies and gentlemen. So that's sort of how I've come to it. And the way I feel is I really idolise the post war government of 1945. I think uh, they were the greatest, right? Oh, oh here we go, right? So, uh, and what I can't bear is the fact that everything's been reframed. So that when you say, for example, that there used to be a tax bracket in this country up to the 1970s, it was 95%. Right? People are like, that would never happen, that would never happen. But when I hear that, I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to have to sit down, I'm so excited. Oh, think of the nurses. <laughs> <laughs> be like, if we had that now, it would be like Sweden. 
Think of the return of your mean. <laughs> six years I could go on, six years. <clears throat> and, and people get very worried when you mention that there used to be massive high tax brackets because they're like, oh, I, I wouldn't pay that, I'm not going to pay that. And I think, no, none of us would ever pay it because none of us are going to be super wealthy. We are not Bruno Mars. <laughs> okay, so the Liberal government, sorry. <laughs> a sad thing. Now, you know, so, uh, again, who, who knows that much about the Liberal government? What's being turned on now, really? Um, just got a poster. Just a poster, I mean, yeah. that's what we're Oh, that's good. Um, and can someone, does someone want to come and uh, uh, feel the benefits of having a nationalised postal service? <laughs> oh, oh, do you not believe me? Oh, yeah. Thank you, Lloyd George. It's just always been a good thing. Thank you. 